Welcome back. This is day 13 of our Start a Profitable Newsletter Business in 30 Days free course. I was having a chat to somebody here under this video, number 11, where we show you how you can use ChatGPT in order to write your newsletter for you. So using AI to write the newsletter, using the free version, so that's uh, GPT 3.5 and i'll show you the prompt that you can use so you don't have to use any paid tools if you don't want to and we were having this conversation here and i just wanted to point out that if you've got any questions about this training then please do comment because we'll get back to you and if there's anything you want us to cover in more detail you can write that as well but one of the things that we were talking about here in these comments is the fact that when you need a newsletter the question was do you have to have I should say when you're writing a newsletter, do you have to have a website? And this is a great, great question. So the answer to this is not that clear, as I discussed in the comments with uh, this person. It's yes and no. You might already have a website, which means you can bulk on a newsletter that you can monetize. But if you have nothing at all, no website, news, new newsletter business, no subscribers, no followers, no email list, then you don't need to have a website. Last video that was uh, day 12. In this video here, I talked about how you can use free and paid tools to build your newsletter business. And I recommend you go and watch that one because whether you've got nothing at all or whether you've already got a website, I review a range of tools in here that you can use. And the last one, the last tool, is the one that I'm gonna be showing you for the next few videos. And I wasn't planning on making this video today, but after this question here, I really wanted to clarify a few things. So you can use a service provider like this. This is Email Octopus, and they will have in here templates that you can use and you can build your email around. So you don't have to go and do any of the design work. Uh, everything I show you in this video, I should say, you can get the links down in the description. and. Also for this ChatGPT video and the day 12 video where I review more of the tools, I'll put that down in the description as well. But what these will do for you is you can actually use this to create your newsletter. So you don't need a website. Um, you can use their templates in order to be able to create a newsletter and they also have landing pages and forms built in as well so you can do all of that within the software you've also got something like mailchimp which will do exactly the same they'll allow you to build out your own email or newsletter you'll also be able to create your landing page as well and they have lots of different templates now, if you don't want to go for a provider like these, then what you can do is you can find tools such as Canva. Canva has a free account. You won't be able to access any of their premium images, but what you can do is you can use their newsletter creator and you can find tons of templates here. And then if you want to import them somewhere else, then you can do that. So you can see I've got all of these different newsletter templates that I can click on and then I can go away, I can edit, I can adapt and you can swap out these images. If you use something like Pexels, for example, then they have uh, stock images that you can use completely for free. And I can check out any of these newsletters that I like. I can click on it and I can check out the different pages and I can potentially use something like this to create a template for my newsletter, but also you could build yourself a landing page in this as well. If you're not into Canva, uh, then you can use something like this. This is uh, Vista Create. And again, you can see they've got uh, newsletter templates as well. Let me just spell it correctly for you guys. You can see they've got a ton of newsletter templates. And again, the good thing about using something like Canva and something like uh, Vista Create is you can see they've got all of these other options as well. If you need to create other things like posters, like social media posts, like coupons, anything like that, but you can just click onto any of these and turn them into a newsletter. So if graphic design isn't something that you are that confident on, you can take these templates and use them for a newsletter or use them for part of your landing page. So you can do it this way, or what you can do, as I've shown you, is use a service provider 
that does it for you. Now, I've just showed you how to create your newsletter. If you wanted to create your landing page, then you can use a tool like this. This is card. And again, I'll put a link to this down in the description. And you can see you've got all these really nice, simple landing pages. And when you use card, I believe you get three landing pages completely for free, but I can put the name of my newsletter here, write a little bit about it, click get in touch, and that would take people straight over to whichever newsletter I had uh, picked and edited and hosted somewhere. So they would sign up, I would be able to collect their email, and then I would be able to send them some kind of newsletter using a template like this. And I could just use card and I can switch all of this out. You can see they've got tons and tons of designs. So maybe I would use something like this. If I was doing something sort of travel, I can put the name of my newsletter, a bit of information. They click here, I collect their email, and then they can be um, registered to get my newsletter every week or fortnight. But as I said at the end of the last video, the tool that we're gonna be using for the rest of this is Beehive. And Beehive will do both of those things for you. Like I said, you can go away and find other platforms, something that will do a landing page and something that will do a newsletter for you. And then you can combine them together or something like Beehive will do the whole thing for you. And why I prefer it to something like MailChimp or Email Octopus is because it also has the growth strategies in there the growth platforms in order to help you grow your newsletter because that's how you're going to make the money. So what you can do with this is you can create, so it says the most powerful editing and design tools in email. So what you can do is you can go away and you can use AI to write the newsletter for you, the content, whether that's ChatGPT, as I've shown you before, or some of the other tools that we have recommended previously in this series. You can create your landing page and your newsletter editions inside Beehive. Once you've done that, you can publish it so you can schedule everything um, and you can get it published. Plus you can create templates in this. So even though these tools like these ones on Vistacrate will have a template for you, in Beehive, you create your first edition and then you can save that as a template and then you can just repurpose that every time. So if you're doing something like a curated newsletter, and again, I've mentioned that in previous trainings in this free course, then you can use that initial template, set it out how you want it. And then it's just a case of using the tools you've recommended previously to bring that content to you. So you're getting updates on what's new in your niche on autopilot and then it's just a case of cutting it across cut and paste across and uh, include your affiliate links and then it's also got these growth tools in there as well that is going to help you grow your newsletter and the other thing i really like about beehive as i mentioned in the previous video is up to the first two and a half thousand subscribers this is free and what that means is while you're still growing, you can put out those editions of your newsletter without spending any money. And as long as you've set things up correctly, as we've discussed in previous um, parts of this training, then by two and a half thousand subscribers, you should be at a place where you are already monetized and bringing in some money so you can start to cover the costs for the growth or the scale option. Now, what's gonna happen in our next video training is I'm gonna show you Beehive in more detail. I'm gonna give you sort of a high overview to show you the differences between these. And then we're gonna start getting into actually building our first new newsletter edition for the case study I was going to be focusing on. If you wanna know more about that case study, you can go back and watch video five in this series. And if you wanna know about the AI tools that we're using for both writing your newsletter, the one that we recommend, and also for um, building out your newsletter, then you can click one of the videos on the screen now and you can catch up if you miss those videos. And we'll see you in the next one.